see here each and every phase is connected with an arrow mark representation what it mean is what it mean is pre, we are using an pre processing technique here we are using an pre processing technique that means the output of lexical by taking an source code as an input to the lexical anal analysis analyzer we can call it as an analyzer or analysis uh, analysis the output that we generated whatever the output that we are generated from the lexical analyzer is taking as an input to the syntax and the output of syntax is taking as an input to the semantic and the output of semantic is taking as an input to the intermediate code generator and the output of icg is taking as an input to the code optimizer and the output of code optimizer is taking as an input to the code generator and the output of code generator is in a form of machine dependent code optimizer machine dependent code optimization code optimizer which, which is an target code which is an target code executable object code that we are calling symbol table acting as a data structure use it to store whatever the things that we are going to perform in the process of compilation uh, carrying out the process of compilation whatever the things that we are going to perform everything is should be stored in a symbol table and see here another subface that is an error handler and how the error handler is going to be performed is for example at each at each and every phase itself we are finding out the errors and we are rectifying those and then we are going for the next phase and overall compilation at the, after performing a, after performing the all phases we are not doing the we are not performing and compilation at a time we are not performing a compilation at a time here but what we are doing we are rectifying an errors recognizing the errors at each and every phase itself and re rectifying those and we are taking it as the, what the output that generating from the lexical analyzer is taking it as an syntax analyzer that means the output is an error free the output is an error free whatever the output that we are going to generate it from each and every phase is an error free error free code that we are going to generate so this error handler is acting as an error recovery and detection error detect first you have to detect the error and then recovery it then again you handling the errors detecting handling means detecting the errors rectifying those and updating the updating the data updating the code and then finally generating an output this is the process that we are performing while considering an error handler while taking an subface as an error handler and this is the structure of the compiler this is the various phases of compiler structure of various phases of compiler having six main six phases these are the main six phases and now we are learning with an example now these are all the context of each and every phase that we for in the next class we'll see about this first i will explain with an example then you can easily understand how the how each and every phase is going to be performed and what type of an output it is going to be generated see here this is an example by taking all the phases of the compiler all the phases in the sense here we are having six phases of the compiler process of compilation by taking an example using various phases see initially initially my input is in the form of an input this is an source program this is an source program are you all seeing the slide by seeing the slide you can easily understand and also you see my cursor where i am uh, showing the cursor position is equal to initial plus rate into 60 this is the line one this is the line of the code in my program i am taking this line of the code i am generating an machine code that is a target code for this see position is equal to initial plus rate into 60 this is the input program that i am giving that means this is the source program now what i want to do is the, it, it is in the form of an high level language because human readable language human readable language human understandable language and now i am converting this into an another language that is an machine level language converting an high level language into an machine level language and the input is in the form of an high level language now by phase by phase i am going to implement by taking the input position is equal to initial plus rate into 60 see 
by taking this source code now i am going to implement a lexical analyzer lexical analyzer can also be called as a scanner or can also be called as a linear analyzer analysis we can call it as an analysis or analyzer whatever it may be lexical analyzer can also be called as a scanner after taking the input from the source program first what the lexical analyzer is going to be do is what the performance that the lexical analyzer is going to be perform is first scanning the input program scanning the source program first it scans the source program and then after scanning the source code that is position is equal to initial plus rate into 60 after scanning this line of the code then automatically it is going to be converted into an stream of tokens see this stream of characters the given input is in the form of an stream of characters and now it is going to be converted after performing the lexical analyzer it is going to be converted into an stream of tokens that is the output that we are generating from an lexical analyzer stream of tokens in the sense here the position is converted into a token with uh, uh, by naming it as an identifier id1 is equal to the operators are same here Oper operator representations are same is equal to is, is equal to plus is plus uh, multiplication operator is into is into but here position the position is converted into id1 in the form of a token the name of the token is an identifier and this initial is again converted into an token the name of the token is an identifier to uh, what it means is uh, the position initial rate all these three character of um, characters are converted into an tokens identifiers the name of the token is an identifier but here we are separating with an by separating the name of the token with an by giving with an sequence numbers 1 2 3 like that that means for example id1 is an position id2 is an initial id3 is an red the everything is going to be stored in a data structure if you want to retrieve the data from for example if if you want to retrieve the data what the name of what the name of the token that we defined for the position there itself we, we can show in the data structure we can see that we can retrieve that for example uh, for the position uh, the position is stored with an identifier 1 and for the initial it was stored with an identifier 2 and for the rate it was stored with an identifier everything is going to be stored in a symbol table why because it is a data structure used for storing the data and here the output of the lexical analyzer is in the form of a stream of tokens identifier here the name of the token is identifier id1 id2 id3 but the real number value should not be converted into a token should not be converted into a token this value the real number we are not converting into an identifier whatever the value we are having in the input program that value we are taking uh, that that value is only generating from the lexical analyzer the same value is going to be generated from the lexical analyzer and this is the output that we are generating from an given input by implementing an lexical analyzer i think you all get the point how what type of an output that we are going to generate by taking an input after implementing a lexical analyzer taking the input in the form of a stream of characters generating the output in the form of an stream of tokens after implementing the lexical analyzer this is that means converting the stream of characters into stream of tokens make a note of this converting stream of characters into stream of tokens and this this whatever we generated in a lexical analyzer is taking as an input to the syntax analyzer syntax analyzer what, what the task that the syntax analyzer is going to be for, for, performed is the tokens generated by the lexical analyzer and whatever the tokens that are generated by the lexical analyzer are grouped together grouped together to form a hierarchical structure grouped together to form a hierarchical structure here we while converting the tokens while converting the tokens into an structure format first we have to make a note of two things what the internal nodes and what the external nodes are to be what the internal nodes and what the external nodes are to be internal nodes are always should be an operators external nodes should always be an operands again i am repeating while constructing the tree structure here we need to note two points what the internal node and what the external node internal internal nodes are always to be an operators operators and external nodes are always to be an operands and this is the structure representation from the generated tokens 
after implementing a syntax analyzer see uh, this is the output that we are generating from a syntax analyzer now we are taking this as an input to the semantic what the semantic analyzer is always semantic an analysis determines the meaning of the source string this is the source for the semantic now this the output of